it works with the body. It's I just man, I, I'm ranting. I could go on and on about these hands. Let's just, let's let's get to the, the splitting. Good grief! I get going on about handles and go on all day. I should. It's a whole video in itself there. Okay, so I changed my mind. We're gonna we're gonna use this one piece. So we're gonna chop opposite sides because it's so symmetrical that I think that that's gonna give us the best best test. So. Plus, I'm running out of daylight. I've been messing around so long. Okay, so let's start with the chopper one. Chopper one here will work on the right-hand side, and then we'll work over here on the left with the HMS Bismarck. Okay, you ready? We're going to just do the side chop method here. Oh, that didn't stick. Let's give it two hits. Three. Four. Okay, five. Well, we have five right there to knock it off the side. Um, nice thing about it is it didn't stick, right? We don't like sticking. That makes us, gives us a lot of extra work. Okay, now the Bismarck. Try to do a hit in the same place here. Oh, two, three, four. Oh, five. How about that? The chance is hitting <laughs> both those splitting the same. Okay, let's move the camera and then we'll work. We'll hit these two sides. I guess we could do it right here. It's a little bit tall for me, this chopping block, but that's all right. We'll make it work. Hopefully, we're in focus. Okay, so we'll do the right here with the chopper one. Oh man, that was a good hit. Oh yeah, that's two. Oh, if I would have hit it, that would have been. The third one would have knocked that off there. That was user error. Oh man, the pressure's on. Pressure's on for the Bismarck. We've got the same piece of wood, pretty consistent here. Here we go, ready? Oh, that was a good one. That felt, felt the crack. Oh, two. Again, the same thing. I'll back up a little bit. Okay, so we got three again. Three again. So you remember, we talked about the fibrous, fibrous. I wonder if, if that would have, that chopper would have knocked that one off if I would have hit it right. Okay, now we got two more splits here. Can this, can we do it in one with the chopper one? Here we go. Oh yeah, look at it blasted apart. No fibers remaining, right? That's pretty good. Where, where, where were we? We're on the top there? Yeah, right there. Will the Bismarck, will it chop in one here? Let's see. Oh yeah. Even with more authority, if I had to admit it. Um, okay, so let's do a quick, let's do the pie method. I'd say that was a push. Um, that was a push. All right, we'll get another one going here. Man, is there anything better than out in the forest splitting? Doug fur in the, in the cold autumn day, 27 degrees today. Okay, now we'll try the pie method. We'll see what happens, who comes out on top. Then I'll give you my conclusions here. I'm forming opinions right now. So last time we did the slabbing method, right? Where we take it and knock the four corners off and then usually one billet left in the middle, you can split it. We're gonna do the traditional way, the pie method this time. And I'll just, I brought you in a little bit closer and then we'll alternate. So let's start with a chopper one. We'll see how many times it, it's gonna to take to split here. So ready? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, guys, come on, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, <laughs> it's completely split over here. I would have, of course I would have moved around with the split, but I wanted to see if I could split it. I lost track. <laughs> we're gonna, 
we're in it now. Oh, come on. Come on. It's getting personal. <laughs> what was going on there? It wasn't any, there's no knot or anything there. Really. Man, that, that was not very good. All right, let's roll another one on. <laughs> See what the Bismarck can do. Man, <laughs> that'll get you, get you in shape. So this is, actually the Bismarck set a bit of a disadvantage here because this one's even bigger. This one's even bigger. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. Same tree, these two were connected to each other, so. Woo! All right, I don't know how, how scientific this is. Let, let's just, we'll get out, there's a knot right there. There wasn't a knot. There wasn't a knot with the chopper one. Well, come on, with German power, they can overcome. Oh, that feels solid. One, two, oh, three. We might be here for a while. I'll let you guys count. I got enough to worry about. All you hardwood guys tell me all the time how easy this stuff is to split. We work for, work for ours, too. Oh, goodness. Whew. That's a heavy mall to split, too, or just swing. We got a crack, that's it. It's curtains now, not our time. Oh yeah, I love it, love it. Crossfit, Crossfit. <laughs> Is it count if I pry it apart? We're gonna keep at it, we're not gonna give up. Yeah, come on, one more. <laughs> All right, I wasn't counting. Give me a <laughs> give me the count in the comments. <laughs> Man, I think I need to get out and chop some more wood. All right, so let's wrap it up with my conclusions here. All right, friends. <laughs> so. Uh, one well, if somebody go go back and if you can rewatch that, put in the comments how many what, what how many swings did it take uh, for each one? Uh, I guess is that definitive? It was a tie on the first one. It was probably pretty close to a tie on the second one. So it's all going to come down to uh, user experience. How about that user experience? Because obviously they they both work. Um, I have to say that I do feel. A little bit of uh, I don't know if I'd call it pain or discomfort in my hands from the mechanical motion of the vibration coming from those jaws slapping up transferring through the handle even though it is a good hickory looks like a hickory handle uh, my hands they, they hurt a little bit I don't maybe it's just me maybe I'm just soft but I don't think that a, that it would be a wise or a guy would really want to if you were say one of those guys back in the 60s that split wood for a living uh that if you'd want to swing this all day you know i don't know i, ha I haven't done it but i kind of feel like that may could be a problem now is that going to be an issue for the rest of us who you know maybe go out and split wood for three or four hours in the morning or until lunch uh, probably not uh, but it could be um, i don't remember i split a lot of wood and i don't remember feeling that um th that pain in my hands and i think that it's a direct directly to that. I knew no, I know when it went into the wood, I could I kind of jarred me. It was kind of oh, that's kind of uncomfortable. Um, so I'd say that that was a downside. Um, 
it, it, there's no such thing as magic. Of course, we, we knew that. Uh, but I can pretty much say from my experience so far that it, it's not a toy. It, it is not a toy. And, and, and this is, this is a one specific type of wood. Will it work better with maple or with beech or with oak or hickory? You know, I don't know. Uh, that's up to you. Um, would I recommend it over something like the Bismarck? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't dislike it at all, but that, that pain uh, from the vibration is a big problem for me, even though I do like a lot about it. But uh, you're gonna have some added maintenance issues there. Um, possibility of these things breaking. I, I just don't know. I, I just haven't seen an advantage um, that would overcome uh, the, the kind of the hand pain factor over the e, e old Bismarck right here. This is a good one right here. That's, that's pretty hard to beat. A um, little easier to swing this one. This was a little bit lighter, um, but uh, I think that's enough. I think we, you'll, you draw your own conclusion. So appreciate, the, uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. If you don't mind, take a moment, click the thumbs up. I'm working hard out here for you guys. So it's, it's what you can do to, the way you can say thank you. It helps the channel out. Um, and so another video I wanted to do uh, that I thought maybe we'll do real quick while I'm out here is, uh, Maybe test the Bismarck up against a wedge. Uh, after wedges, I've got two style of wedges. I got the Prandy twisting wedge versus the regular wedge. And I've always been curious to see, is, it, is there an advantage? Uh, which one would be better? Uh, which, which is gonna be faster and, and more efficient? So uh, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments and we can, uh, I'm, I'm going in, it's gonna be supper time here, but I'll come back out tomorrow and do it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.